Bro, that's very important. I want to show you something real quick before you go. On that sign, is showing us who we are according to the Bible. That's right. All our whole days, our whole life, I don't know how old you are, but our whole life we have been taught that we were black, that we was Negroes, and repent or die. Hey, repent or die. That's all we got to say. That's, that's right. what's going on with our people. We hard-headed and stubborn. We don't know nothing. So repent or die. That's the bottom line. Right. Bro, what we're trying to show you, because you got a repentant spirit on you, is that the so-called blacks, Hispanic and Native American are the 12 tribes of Israel. Did you, right. did you know that? Did you know that? Do you know what tribe you come from? Come here, let me show you something real quick. On this sign right here, right, it got the 12 tribes of Israel. One of them says American black. Are you a so-called American black? According to the Bible, you are from the tribe of Judah. That's That's right. Here's how we know this. On your flyer, on your flyer talks about Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter and the 15th verse. Have you ever read the Bible? Have you read the Bible? Have you read the book of Deuteronomy? We're finna read it today. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. We finna show my brother who he is according to the Bible. Because according to the Bible, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. That's right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, it says it shall come to pass. This is a future prophecy, brother. This is a future prophecy. Pay attention because this right here is going to explain to you who you are and why you're in the conditions that you are in today and why we are not keeping God's laws. You understand? Teach us. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Quick question, young brother. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. That's God right. said his children will be cursed. Look around for a minute, bro. Tell me what you see. Tell me what you see. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Now your whole life, have we been blessed as a people or do it seem like we've been cursed? God said that was going to happen to the children of Israel from breaking his law. That's right. He said it was going to happen Verse 16, cursed shall I be in the city. He said you was going to be cursed in the city for 42 years. You understand that? Deuteronomy 1 and 1. God yeah. said that was going to happen to the children of Israel. That's what right. we're trying to show you, brother, in this quick minutes that we have time to show you, you understand? This is the beginning to show you that you are the Israelite that the Bible speaks of. That's right. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Now go back to 28 and 16 again. Moses is talking to the children of Israel, but it sure sounded like what he was saying to them was going to happen to us. That was a prophecy. They didn't know that was going to happen to them. Right. But look at it. Didn't that happen to us? So what's that telling you, bro? Your nationality. What are you? Who are you? I've been, known, I've been known Jews wasn't white since like... All praise to the most high. The brother said he been knowing the Jews wasn't white. That's right. So what color are the Jews? Give me Jeremiah 14. Let's show the color of the Jews. Bring it up. Because you've been knowing that, so you know a little something. So now what we have to do, brothers, bring it all together. You understand? So you can be on this side of the side, so you can be hanging out flies, so you can teach your people, That's so right. we can own some of this stuff around here That's and start right. serving our whole doggone life. Right. right. What is Judah a servant? Are we homeborn slaves? Are out. we gonna be slaves our whole life? Or are we gonna gather ourselves together and take over and do what God says Bring and keep his laws? What are you gonna do? Read. Bring it out. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah mourneth and the gates thereof languish. They are black. They are what? They are black. The Jews are black. Unto what? Unto the ground. What color is the dust of the ground, brother? Brown. The dirt is brown. He right. said, Judah morning, and against their own language, they are black unto the ground. Give me Genesis 2 and 7. Because that's what we're trying to show you, bro. You've been knowing the Jews one white, right? Yeah, yeah that's, why they, that's why they don't like us. That's why, that's they, why they don't like us, son. All praise to the most high. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. Bring and the up. Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So the first man was a dark skinned brother such as yourself. Now go back to Deuteronomy 28. You understand? All praise to the most high, brother. So what we're trying to show you, brother, who we are according to the Bible. Now that's just one verse. I'm going to go to jump to verse 28 and 17. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 17. Bring it out. Cursed shall be thy basket in thy store. It said, cursed shall I be thy basket in thy store. So when we ever try to own a store, you ever heard of, heard of Black Wall Street? You ever heard of that? 
What happened to our people at Black Wall Street? They bombed. That's right. They cursed our store. Most I said that was going to happen to us for breaking this law. Right. Even though our brothers and sisters did good by building themselves up after 60 years after slavery, but they did it without God's commandments. And God sent the enemy against us to drop bombs on us. Right, right. right. You understand that? And cursed should I be in our basket in our stores, them Arabs own them stores. The right. Edomites own them stores. The so called white people and the Arab people, just to make it plain. We don't own it. God said when we try to own something, we was going to be cursed in our basket. Just like your basket that got a hole in it. Like your piggy bank got a hole in it. Every time you drop money in it, you go to look for it. Ain't nothing there. Do we got anything here? God said we was going to be cursed in our baskets in our stores, brother. Yes, that's, right. that's happening to us right now. Verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Quick question. I'm, I'm, I'm addressing that brother right there real quick, bro. I'll get to you. You have any kids? You don't have any kids? You're not married, you're 42 years old, but why you have no kids and no marriage? God said, go forth to multiply. Yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah, but, like, yeah, but the Bible also says that some men, some men, yeah, some men that don't have kids. Okay. Okay. Okay, all praise to the most. I like that answer. I like, how do you serve the Lord? How do you love God? You love God, right? All praise yes, to the most. Let's get that out the Bible. First John 5 and 3. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. Yeah. Now, this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. It said this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. So to show God how you love him, what do you have to do? Keep his commandments. Right. Now I'm going to show you a commandment, but right now I want to show you that you are Israelite because that's important for you to know how important it is for Israelites to keep God's commandments. Bring it up. Because right. the Israelites right here didn't keep God's commandments and look what happened to them. Right. This is what happened, brother. That's what we're trying to show you. This is why this happened to us. When I say this, that's slavery. Right. That brought over here on them slave ships. Right. That's in the Bible. Did you know that was in the Bible? What, what verse is it? I can't, I can't remember. Hey, it's a whole lot. But I'm going to get you. You got time to listen? I'm going to give you that verse. So you will have it. That way you can teach your people. Come, come, slow down for a minute. You're going to learn something today. You're in a good spot right now, brother. Right. Go back to 28 and 32. Go back to 28 and 32. Listen for a minute, bro. I know you got to pay the bills and all like that, but it's a lot of stuff you need to know because you said you love God and keep his commandments. So what I got to show you, brother, some of God's commandments. So if you say you love God, you must be keeping his commandments. If you're not keeping them, you're breaking them. So I got to show you where you're going wrong. Give me a minute. It's going to help you. Read 28, 28, 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. So when our kids was given into another nation, when we came over here on slavery, when our kids was given into another master in Arkansas or Virginia, we had no might in our hand. Did that not happen to us? So we've proven that we are the children of Israel. I'm going to give you one more verse out of Deuteronomy if we're going to address some of these laws. Is that all right, brother? You all right? All right. Here we go. 28, 68 again. Bring it up. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Let me ask you a question. You study the Bible, right? What was the Israelites doing in Egypt up under Pharaoh? They were slaves. So when you read the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2, you should understand this. Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So what is Egypt pertaining to in this verse? Slavery, bondage, that's, that's right. right. So we are here teaching our people, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, that you are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. That's that's right. Right. And the word Egypt in the verse of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68, means bondage. Right. Right. So we're going back to address how did our people get over here, and what happened to our people, and why did slavery happen to our people, according to the Bible. That's Give me that right. again, 28 and 68. Deuteronomy 28, 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. And to bondage? Again, with ships. How did we get over here? With ships. God said we was going to go into bondage again with ships. Give me, that, give me that picture with those slave ships. Hey, bro, you ever seen you ever seen a movie, Amistad? You ever saw Roots? Remember when they was on them boats? That was a hell of a condition, wasn't it? God said that was going to happen to his people. They was going to be crammed in 18 inches apart on a slave ship. For right. breaking his laws, for going after other gods, right. for treating each other bold. And these days, what we do, we go after other gods. This white image of Jesus, that's not God. Right. Right. But our people pray to that thing. How do we treat our people boldly? We sell dope to them. God said you wrong, and I curse y'all for that. 
We his chosen people. We're supposed to love one another. That's right. You understand that? Right. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Talking about our homeland. See, right over here on these slave ships. See how crammed we is? Now, what if it was a female on top and she had a monthly cycle? Guess what's going to happen? Whoever was on the bottom, it was, that, that, that's just messed up, ain't it? That's messed up. See, what I'm trying to show you, brother, we're supposed to learn from that. God said that was going to happen to us for breaking his laws. So what if you had a little kid, a little toddler about two years old? Because what them, what them colonizers used to do, how they make us, the stink go bad, they used to spread us with water holes. So the water, they didn't let us take bath, they just spray us. They've been spraying us with water holes for years. Right. That just didn't happen in the 60s and the 70s. They right. did it from the time we got on those slave ships. Right. So right. now you got, you got 18 inches or uh, uh, six inches of water on the floor. So when a little boy rolls around or a little girl runs around and slips and falls on all that sewage, pretty much, dog go get in that drown. Our kids almost drown off waste and water, sewage water, on those slave ships, brother. That's right. right. What That's I'm trying right. to show you is, bro, we're supposed to learn from that. Right. We Look around. You look, think we learned from that? Have we learned anything to keep God's laws? We haven't learned. That's why we are here, brother. That's right. Because we have to be retaught. Teach. Give me Hebrews 5, 5 and 12. And then I'm, I'm going to break it down. I'm going to give you a chance to move around. I know, but I'm going to show you a couple laws. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, listen, man. Forget about that money, man. You don't need no money. <laughs> all praise. All praise. Hebrews chapter 5 and verse 12. Bring it up. But when ye ought, but, but when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again. So what we're trying to do, brother, is trying to bring things together for you. Because you know something, but we want to bring it all together for you so you have a clear understanding why our people going through these conditions. You understand that? Do it, give me um, give me Leviticus 20. 21 and 5, yeah. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. You know. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Right now we're trying to go through some laws. Because you said yourself what um what sin is, right? You know what sin is, right? It's a transgression of the law. Let's get that out the Bible real quick. Let's just let's just lay the foundation. Because one of the reasons why come we going through what we're going through, because we break in God's law. So we have to go through the Bible to know God's laws. You understand? Right. Right. Read. Verse John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed us of the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So what we're trying to do is come up out of sin. Because that's what's got us in his curses in the first place. Right. So right. what's going to get us out? Repentance. That's right. How right. do you repent? Give me Leviticus 21 and 5. It's just a small a repentance. Uh, I'm small for me. It might not be small for you, but it was small for me. Read it. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Bring it up. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave up the corners of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. So he said we shouldn't shave off the corners of our beards. Do you know you need to do an Israelite, right? You know that, right? Give me all Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Bring it up. Because knowing that you are Israelites, Israelites are a peculiar people. What makes us peculiar? God's laws. That's, right. Right. that's what makes us different from everybody else. Right. So right. when I see you, I say, man, that's an Israelite indeed. He got his beard. He got his fringes. You understand that? So I know from out the top of the rip, I can tell. Read. Right. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. You know? And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? One question I forgot to ask. What's your name? Kevin. Kevin. All right, listen to this. Read it again. And now Israel. Now Kevin. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God. How do we fear God? Give me Psalms 119 and 120. Because when this happened to us, we should have learned from that. Because this is a scary thing, bro. Imagine us being in this, in this position one, again. Right. Imagine that us back there in that time now. Wouldn't you be frightened? That's a scary thing. But that happened to our ancestors, our grandpa, ten That's times right. over. Right. That happened to him. So if my grandpa had a chance to repent, I bet he would. I bet you he would. Right. He'll say, God, I'm sorry. Whatever I did, I repent. I forgive me, Lord. Right. That's what we're asking now for some mercy from the most high. Right. Because that's why this happened to us, because we broke his law. Give me what you got. Right. Psalm chapter 119, verse 120. My flesh trembles. He what? said, My flesh trembles. Because look at this. We got yokes of iron upon our necks, bro. You understand that? They, they had no mercy on us. God did this to us. Right. Right. Because come on, man, you know, 
it was only probably about eight or twin, uh, eight or uh, eight or nine white guys on the ship, but it was about 300, 500 of us. Come on, you know we could have took that ship over. God put that spirit on us. So that's why we got to tremble for the fear of what God can do. Read that again. My flesh trembleth for the fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgments. And that's the judgment that we got. He showed us the laws. Give me that in Psalms 147 and verse 19. Because he showed the laws to us, the laws of the beard, or the laws of that, not getting no tattoos, women wearing dresses. He showed that to Israel. He didn't show that to nobody else. And when we don't keep the laws and break them, judgment. That's right. That's right. See, look around. This is what you see in his judgment, bro. Right. Right. Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. He's showing his word unto Jacob. Jacob is the 12 tribes of Israel that you see on that sign. And guess what? You on that sign, brother. Read. His statues and his judgments unto Israel. Unto Israel. A prince that has the power with God. Because we keep his commandments. Without right. his commandments, we have no power. Look at this. Right. Right. Our power is gone, brother. That's why we're right. trying to energize you. So you That's can plug right. back into this power that we have. That's right. Right. Read. He had not dealt so with any nation. God have not gave his laws to anybody else but you so-called blacks. But you so-called Native Americans, Hispanics. Right. That's why we have to keep them. Just like you can stop at that stoplight and keep that law that the white man gave you. Oh, excuse me. You can keep God's laws. That's, That's right. right. It's just that simple. It's not hard. He said it's not grievous. Go back to where we was at. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Read and now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, to love and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord. That's the whole thing, bro. We have to keep God's commandments. Now that you know that you're Israel. Deuteronomy, Leviticus 21 and 5 said you must have a beard on your face. So what are you going to do? Well, I keep this like this for work purposes. For work purposes. I, I get that. I get that. I understand that. Give me all uh, 1 Kings 8 and 46. Bring it out. I understand that. Because we still yet, matter of fact, give me Baruch 3 and 8. Because I can understand that. And God understands that too. But understand this too. Before you get that, give me uh. Give me Sirach 5 and 15, I believe. When he says that uh, he commanded no man to sin. Gotcha. Uh-huh. Read. 15 and 20. 15 and 20. Sirach 15 and 20. I want to show you this, bro. Sirach chapter 15, verse 20. He had commanded no man to do wickedly. Neither have he given any man license to sin. So he yes. gave us permission to sin, brother. But we are under grace. Meaning that we got to have a time to get ourselves right. So you might can write a letter to your to your job and say, listen. Under my beliefs, under my heritage, right. I'm ordered to have a beard on my face. And, and in Babylon, they honor that thing because I had to do it. You understand? To get the Sabbath day off. Because we don't supposed to be buying and selling on the Sabbath day. But we'll get that. But give me that Baruch 3 and 8. Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. Bring it up. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. So we are yet this day in our captivity. That's Meaning right. that if your boys tell you, you that you got to shave your face, that's what you got to do. Share your face. Because our ancestors broke God's laws and we playing the penalty. Now we are yet this day in captivity. Because we ain't come over here willing to no, no cruise ship sipping on my ties or nothing. We came over here and got off them ships and they sold us. Right. For buying men and buying women. And no man was able to buy us. Right. Y you understand that? Give me Baruch 4 and 4. Bring it out. Baruch chapter 4 and verse 4. Oh Israel, happy are we for, for things that are pleasing to God are made known unto us. Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. So, so what we're trying to say is that, now that you know that you're an Israelite, brother, you should now be in joyfulness and knowing that we're supposed to keep God's laws. Give me verse six. Verse six, ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. God said we was brought over here, not for our destruction, not for them folks to do us the way we, they doing us now, shooting us down in the street. Like them young men right now. If the police stop them right now, they fear for their life. We don't know if the white man gonna shoot us or not. And right. that a reality that we we living in right now? God brought us over here not for our destruction, but for what? But because ye moved God to wrath. Because we got God mad. We made That's our most high God mad for breaking his laws, for serving other God. That's right. That's right. For treating each other bad. You understand that? You were delivered to the enemies. He said you was delivered to your enemies. Right. Because your friends is not going to do that to you. Your friends ain't going to shoot you down in the streets, brother. 
So we got to stop loving everybody that come in our neighborhood and sell us stuff. We got to ask questions. Like, why is this charging so much? And why come we ain't owning this thing? We got to start making a difference. The most I said, gather yourselves together, oh nations not desire. Give me that. Give me that, Jacob. Because I want to show you everything I can show you before you go, bro. And listen, it's a website on the back, so if you want to learn more, and I know you do, right? All right, so follow up with us. Read. Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. You know? Gather yourselves together. Yay, gather together, O nation not desired. Let me ask you a question, bro. Who is the nation that's not desired? Bring it out. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Yes. They're trying to build a wall right now so your brothers can't get back over here where, they was, where the land was promised to them at. Right. You understand that? And they, they put the, they, they, they killed the Indians. At least they, at least they saved the men and killed the Indians. They put them in suits and put them on reservations and, and gave them alcohol and liquor. Now they over there slipping glue out of the bag. Don't even know they're Israelites. Right. That's, That's why we right. out here to teach our people. Teach. That's right. right. You understand that, brother? So now that you know that you're an Israelite and now, now that you know that we must repent and come back to God, do you know today is a Sabbath day? Let me, let me get, let me get um, Deuteronomy uh, 20 and verse 8. I want to show you something real quick about the Sabbath day. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So Exodus 20 and 8 says, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. When it says keep it holy, it means to set it apart from all the other days. So you know that Saturday is the Sabbath. So you know that, right? Read. Six days shalt thy labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So you got six days to work, right? Six days, Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? From Friday sundown to Saturday sundown is the Sabbath. Give me that in here, Mike. Because it's going to go on and say in Exodus 20 and 8 that you don't post to buy or sell. Nor your daughters, nor your servants of man service. Work. We don't post to work. Excuse me, bro. Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. Yeah. And if the people of the land bring where are any victuals. So if these Arabs come in our neighborhood and open up their stores on a Saturday. Read. Ye, on the Sabbath day to sell that we will not buy it of them on the Sabbath. So it's no buying and selling, brother, on the Sabbath day. That's how you keep God's laws holy. You understand that? Yes. You understand that? It's no buying and selling. And there's no cooking also. You got to prepare what you're supposed to prepare a day before. That's right. These are things that we're supposed to learn. Since our people are not doing this, look at us. We curse. You understand that? So do you understand that? You understand that, right? So are you going to repent and do what God says? Are you going to keep your Saturday day holy? That's, that's just my question. I know repentance takes time, you know what I mean? You probably won't prepare today, but that's what grace is for. You understand? So what is grace? You know what grace means? Grace is mercy. Grace is mercy. Give me that Titus 2 and 11. I want to show you something. Because grace is a time to get things right. Just, just like you said, you got to pay your bill, right? So if you tell the man, I can't pay it today, he said, well, when can you pay it? I give you time to pay it. So that grace period, if you don't pay it at such and such date, guess what? Your light's going to be off. They gonna, they gonna send the marshals over here to kick you out your apartment or your house. You understand? But that's just a time to get it right. Right. You understand? It's not for you not to pay them. It's not for us just to keep sinning. It's not for the stuff that's happening to keep going on and going on and going on. We gotta stop at some point. That's right. Yeah, and, and we had enough of being at the bottom. Right. We so low, brother, don't make no sense. We the only nation on the earth that spends zillions of dollars yeah. and we don't have nothing to show for it. That's right. You understand that? Just like if you hit the lottery and your parents say, man, you sure had a lot of money. What happened to your money? I blew it. Look at us. We done blown our blessings. Right. We, we done blew everything, bro. Look at We look like we blowed our money. But that's why come we out here to show our people repentance so we can get back in the good graces of God. Right. Well, so we can right. get our riches back, brother. Right. That's right. We are God's chosen people. Do it, look like, do it look like it out here now? We blew our money, bro. How do we blow it? We broke God's laws. Right. So how do we get it back? We got to come back to God's laws. It's just that simple. It ain't hard. That's right. Do it. You do everything else. Our people wise to do evil. Right. So just do what God say. It ain't hard. Give me what you got. Titus chapter 2 and verse 11. Bring it up. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation have appeared to all men, teaching us. So grace is supposed to teach you. Just like, just like you don't know how to do some, something right now. So you got to learn and learn and learn until you get it right. So by the time you get done teaching, you'll be able to teach somebody else because you learned it. Right. So grace is teaching us how to keep the Sabbath day. 
teaching us how to keep a beard on our face. You know, it's teaching us how to do right by God, coming back to him. You understand that? Read it. Teaching us that denying ungodliness. And denying this foolishness that's going on out here. Denying that stuff. So when people come up to you with a blunt, or when a big booty girl come up to you, want to, uh, want you to do whatever to her, you got to deny that. You got to deny that thing, bro. You understand that? That's what grace is to teach us how to do the right thing, how to line our lives up with God's laws. Read. Denying ungodliness and worldly lust. And worldly lust. You see how these brothers driving around here with all these fancy cars and rims and money in their pocket and, and trunk jewelry and all like that? That's worldly lust, brother. That's lust, in bro. vain, bro. Now the brothers don't even want to hear the word of God like you, brother. They don't even want the word. Give me Proverbs 30 and 8. They don't even want the word no more. They think they good. When you try to teach our people this truth, they're like, no, I'm good. And you see how they live and they got a beard, got a nice girl on the side. They think they good, but they ain't thinking about God, though. Read. Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 8. Remove far from me vanity and lies. So remove all this from me, God. Remove all this madness from me. Teach me grace. Teach me how to live godly and soberly. Read. Give me neither poverty. I don't want to be broke, God. That's why I want to pay my bills. Give me a good job where I can pay my bills. Read. No riches. I don't want to be rich because if I'm rich, I think I got everything. And then I think I don't need you no more. Read. Feed me with food convenient for me. Feed me with these scriptures. Feed me. I'm going to eat it up. Send me around good men that can teach me God's laws. That's what I want. That's what's good for me. Read. Lest I be full. And deny thee and say, Lest I be full. I'm sitting on fat pockets. I got money. I'm on my feet, baby. I don't need you. I'm good. I'm good. But I'm denying God. Read. And say, Who is the Lord? Who is the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Who cares about the 12 tribes of Israel? Who cares about their peculiar people? Who cares about God's law? That's right. That's right. Or lest I be poor and still. And take the name of my God in vain. When you take God's name in vain, you don't keep his commandments. Yes, you understand right. that, brother? But we're going we gonna to stop right there, brother. I hope you learned something. All praise to the Most High God. Now you will see the true men of God. We are not black men. We are the Israelites. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.